which fraction is larger, one half or three eighths? Well, this is tricky because in these fractions, both the numerators and the denominators are different. But to compare fractions with different denominators, we find equivalent fractions with the same denominators. So we need to use what we know about finding equivalent fractions to make the denominators the same. So one half is equivalent to how many eighths? Well, two times four is eight, one times four is four. So we know that one half has the same value as four eighths. And because four eighths is bigger than three eighths, we know that one half is bigger than three eighths. And we can show what we've done visually. We were asked to compare one half, which we can see in this rectangle, and three eighths, which we can see here. But we changed one half to an equivalent fraction. We changed it to eighths. And when we do that, we can see that it's equivalent to four eighths. So it's bigger than three eighths. So now, which is larger, one third or three twelfths? Again, we need to change this third into twelfths so that we can compare them. What is one third in twelfths? Well, three times four is 12, one times four is four. So because one third is the same as four twelfths, we can see that it's bigger than three twelfths. Again, we can show this visually. If we change one third into twelfths, we get four twelfths. So we know that it's the larger fraction. Now what about two fifths and five tenths? We find the equivalent fraction and as four tenths is less than five tenths, five tenths is the larger fraction. And we can see here, if we change two fifths into tenths, we only have four tenths, so five tenths is larger.